being wasted. The first person I see is Percival Pippin. If I thought I could compete with Serona, I'd open me own hobby in Hogsmeade.
Let me know so. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory or come back another time if you're in a rush today.
Prevenial. get by without magic. Almost makes me feel a bit guilty. Oh. If I combined, should protect oh. Only oh. a hairy-hearted sod would cast oh. a fender on a cow. <sighs> Not saying I don't cast the odd cleaning spell oh. when no one's looking. An inquiring mind. Rebellion. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Revelio. Pushing the plow is good, honest work, but I shall do it to the Never seen. 
Lumos. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Let me look safe. Of everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Away from the building! Away from the village! 
Are we getting in the tunnel? Keep active! We have to wreck it down! What was that? I was trying to beat him in his own game. I like it! Do more! Look! He's faltering! Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays like this! Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer, and thank you, again. Oh, hello there! Uh, Rebellion. I will see what he wants. Repairer! <laughs> thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Akio, repair him. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. 
allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Zerona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Accio. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. A 
It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with. Are... <coughs> oh. oh, timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Rebellion.
What are you up to now? Revelio. performance until the audience is properly dressed. Lumos.
Lumos. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade. With Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Speaking of the vault... Do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it? Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Heckett a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Heckett know to expect you.
Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. 
I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Lumos. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion! I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gold coins. <laughs> 
handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Revelio. Rebellion. I prefer the three broomsticks. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos.
Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Levioso! Lumos! Lepratigo! Repero! Accio! Levioso! Lumos! I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Revelio. Where 
for you in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And I it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what well, fun! I should cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, Rebellion. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads.
Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. for a skeleton. I'm on the right track. Lumos. Leviosa. Travel broadens the mind. The last time I saw your dragonfly clubs was at the vegetable patch in the greenhouse. That's the one with the dangerous plants. Oh, I found it! That's a black 
Protego, Luma, Levioso, Reparo, Akio, Levioso, Reparo, I forgot to get dressed again. It happened to me once too. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Potato. <laughs> Lumos. Potato, 
Lumos. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Hello, Hello Nelly. Nelly. You, you think the Dedalian keys are back. back. The, the Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen, you've seen them, them flying, flying about. about. You, you, why, why would, would I, I do, do that? that? Each, Each key will lead you to a locked, locked cabinet, cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you, you can manage, manage to get the key into the cabinet, cabinet lock, not, not an easy task. task. You, you may, may find, find a reward. Perhaps, Perhaps I'll be good, good to go. go. I, I hope, hope you, you do. In, in fact, fact, I think I, think I heard, heard one, one of the keys, keys in the astronomy, astronomy tower. tower. You should, should listen, listen for them. them. I, I hope, hope you follow, follow a few keys, keys at least. If you, if you manage, manage to open, open the cabinet, cabinet I'd love to know what you want, if anything. <laughs> It's a key. key. I, I wonder, wonder where, where I might lead me. me. You, you can't, can't imagine how we can be in trouble. Boy, I'm in the blue Here. 
That's it. An old coin. Perhaps Len Ellie knows what it means. To follow, follow one of the daily, daily keys. Hello, Nelly. I managed, managed to get, get the daily, daily key into its lock. lock. Brilliant. What, what did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks, Looks like, like a Gryffindor house token. I bet, I bet it unlocks our house chest. chest. I, call I call them house chests. chests. I've, I've seen, seen one in our common room, room and I've heard, heard there are also in the other common, other common rooms. rooms. Keep, Keep an eye out. out. I, do I do hope you continue on. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see this for a fine Gryffindor house chest.
This is what well, seems, seems like to, to find more houses than the photo witness. Quite, Quite a, a few, few by the look of it. What's the thing? Oh, Jesus! Jesus. 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 My young friend, you're sure to dance as a headdress like that. Like that. On another adventure, are we? No, no entrance. entrance.
I hear, I hear about, about the new spell, spell you wanted to teach me, me Professor. Good. Good. Professor, Professor Fear indicated a certain urgency to you completing your, your defensive magic, magic assignments. As, As such, such, you are to learn in Senio, the, the fire-making spell, hand for lighting, lighting torches, burn away spiderwebs, spider webs, and, when, when necessary, to defend against, against those, those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. Quite. But before, before we get started, I'd, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You, you may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students, students don't think, think that their professors, professors know. When, when you're, you're finished, come, come see me. me. Then, then we, we shall begin, begin working on incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. finished. Seeing crossed, crossed walls, walls isn't as secret, secret as it's believed to be. be. I always said the travel <laughs> Luke is just, just over there. there. Sebastian told me to see you about the club. If Sebastian vouches to you, that's, that's all I need to know. I can win duels across once. Oh, do you think of sorts? It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see two of you duel. How does cross ones work exactly? Well, you show up, I'm actually another duelist, and you're still standing in the end. Wins. It's our way of determining school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded the prize. Interested? Of course. Julian's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Cross Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or you duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll, we'll make, make you regret, regret signing, signing up. up.
Ahead, but, but keep, keep this up, up and you could be the next champion. champion. Brilliant. Count, Count me in. in. I, I shall. In fact, fact the, the second jewel is ready when, when you are. And, and as, as a fully initiated, initiated member, you, you now have access, access to the official, official Cross, Cross Ones, Ones training dummy. dummy. Very, Very good, good way to master spell, spell combinations. combinations. Come, Come and see me, me and I'll, I'll set, set it up. up. Again, Again, congratulations on your, your first Cross, Cross Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Prepare. Hello, Hello Lucan. May, May I, I use, use the training, the training dummy? dummy? Of course. Why did you have a try, try now? now? That, that would be wonderful. wonderful. Be sure, sure to cut. cut. I say better, better to discover one's weaknesses, weaknesses during practice than during a duel. duel. You'll, You'll be a fearsome challenger now. now. Hello, Hello Lincoln. Lincoln. Is, Is the, the next, next round of Cross Wands all set? set? Why? Red, red. I'm, I'm ready. ready. Red, red. Yes, yes, nasty. nasty. 
Then, then let's, let's get, get to, to it. it. Ready, Ready to, to get, get thrashed? thrashed? Apologies in advance. But, but after, after that, that last, last round, they'll, they'll really have, have it in for you. You'd, you'd better, better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or, or at least surviving in the next round. round. I'll, I'll let you know when we're ready. ready. Hope, Hope to see you then. then. The, next the next round is for all, all the gobstones, so to speak. Mr. Bradley, Bradley was able, was able to accommodate you and, and that you found success in your endeavors. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Should be, Professor. Yes. yes. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry to say, say I visited, visited enough, enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you, you that Fi is a fickle, fickle servant. Your, your spellcasting spell has impressed me thus far, far. But, but please, please maintain, maintain focus. focus. I would rather not end today's lesson with, with your, your robes aflame. Let, Let us begin. begin. And, and remember, remember, focus on, on the proper wand movement. Concentrate, and, and keep, keep your wand steady. steady.
Handy resource indeed, your Hello, Hello, sir. You'll be pleased, pleased to know that, that I worked on my defensive, defensive magic, magic with Professor Hackett. So, so I hear. She tells, tells me you've taken, taken rather well, well to your new wand. You, you must continue to work with her and your other professors, professors to improve your skills. That, that said... So, shall, shall we proceed? proceed? Fink! I, I have, have work, work for you. Come. Come. Hey, hey master, master, I'm with a student and my schedule. Your schedule will wait indefinitely as we your student. I would, I would think, think that, that after, after all the trouble, trouble you caused me with, with Osric, Osric, you'd be eager, eager to make amends. amends. My, My office. office. Five, Five minutes. minutes. That man is, is exasperating. Unfortunately, I tripped at the restricted section. We'll have to wait, wait a bit longer. longer. But, but Professor, we, we have, have no choice. choice. It, it would, would be, be unwise. unwise. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Thank you. 
Sebastian. There, there you are. are. I, was I was hoping, hoping to see you. you. I was, I was in, in three broomsticks after the troll attack, attack and, and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Harlow. Not, Not many, many students have, have Victor, Victor Rookwood's attention. attention. What was, was that all about? about? Seems he's working with Ranrock. Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. A porky to Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I bet follow, follow myself, myself, and, and I, was I was there. there. Anyway, he ended, ended up in an ancient, ancient vault. You, you can't, can't be serious. serious. Dead easy. Understood. Understood. Your, Your secret's secret safe with me. me. Thank, Thank you, Sebastian. You, you mentioned being, being clever, clever enough, enough not to get, get caught in a restricted, restricted section. section. And, and I, I am. am. Meet, Meet me outside, outside the library tonight. tonight. Thank, Thank you, Sebastian. See there? That's, That's the door we need to reach. And those, those annoying prefects would love nothing, nothing more than to rattle us to Scribner, so don't, don't let them see us. Understood? I can, I can be sneaky. sneaky. Let's, Let's go. go. Hold, Hold on, on now. There's, There's a spell, spell you should know. The Disillusionment Charm. charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and, and you'll appear as little, little more than a trick, trick of the light. light. Just, Just as, long as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. quiet. You mean I'll actually, actually be able, able to turn, turn invisible? Something like that. that. It's, it's not, not as foolproof as a cloak, cloak but those, those are expensive. expensive. And spells? Spells, spells are, free. are free. Give, Give it, it a try. try. Focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside the restricted section. Wait, wait, why do you need the key? Isn't there a spell for this? Hello, Mamora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Hello, Mamora charm on lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Is that you? 
please. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now I'm trying to find that book. book. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, Should be in the clear now. No need for us to stop. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in a restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing to help Anne? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Lane to St. Mungo's. But I can research on my own. No need, no need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's, Let's focus, focus on what you're after. Which, which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. it. You're, you're being awfully cryptic. cryptic. Get the librarian, librarian a good excuse for all this. this. Wait, I don't, I don't want you getting, getting in trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where's that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spot to remember this armor.
Rebellion. Ah, I need to wake up that room over there. Not surprising. Guards are ready. ready. Be the way forward, but, but to, to where? where? Do different one. 
wanted, wanted to, to see me? Headmistress Gerald. Gerald. Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morgach. Welcome. Welcome. Professor Rookwood. Professor Bacall. We understand that you are adjusting well, well to life at Hogwarts. Hogwarts. I am. I am, I am glad. glad. Especially, Especially in light like of your unusual situation, situation starting, starting as a fifth year. As, as it happens, I was, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. year. I've, I've never heard of another like us. us. Miss, Miss Morgan. When, when we spoke, spoke yesterday, yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls, swirls you saw years ago, ago when we visited your I recognized you immediately. immediately. I, I cannot thank, thank you enough for what you did. We were, we were glad, glad to help. help. And yes, yes I, I did, did see swirls of magic, magic everywhere, everywhere that day. My, my father, father insisted it was my imagination running wild, wild, but it was, it was certainly real to me. It was, it was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rack can see them too, too. but we've we have never known of a mother could. could. I, I don't, don't understand, what are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Mormonak. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic, magic this is powerful and can do great, great harm in our hands. hands. It, it must, must be wielded by a select, select view. I suggest you ask that you, ask that that you not speak to, to anyone, anyone about what we have discussed, discussed here today. today. Head head master. Master. But, but that, that being said, said Peeves informs, informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. tonight. If, if someone, someone has coerced, coerced you, I would, I would have, have you tell, tell me. me. You're, You're a bright, bright boy. Don't, don't waste, waste this. this. There was, there was nobody, nobody else. else. I came, I came in alone. alone. Oh, oh, Sebastian. Sebastian. What will your uncle say?
you, you cannot, cannot be serious. serious. Goblins, Goblins working, working with Rookwood, Rookwood makes, makes no sense. sense. It, it is rather unorthodox, to say the, the least. It is inconceivable. It is. Visitor. I'll see you next time. Sir, I think you can search for strict section while you were with Professor Black. Black. It, it was, was a book we were after. after. What? That's... Wait. Wait. You, you accessed, accessed the, the restricted, restricted session? session? But, but how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best, best you said in the details. details. Fair, Fair enough. In fact, in fact the, the book was, was below, below the restricted section, section as it appeared on the map. I, I want, want to hear everything. everything. First, First, let's, let's have, have a look. look. Dear, some, some of these pages, pages seem to be missing. It appears someone, someone has got to the book before us. Still, Still I, I will need, need time, time to study, study what remains. Perhaps we can just do something useful and make it some time. time. I, I wonder, wonder why, why it was here, here below the hot walls. I think I know, sir. sir. I saw, I saw two more memories where I found, found the book. Another pensive. God, God looks hard. The, the man we saw before, Purses of Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this, this book, book will explain. Now, now I have to take, take it with me to London. London. The, the headmaster has insisted that I speak, speak directly, directly to the minister about George's, George's death. death. I, I understand. understand. I'll, I'll see, see what, what I can learn about, about missing pages, pages while you're gone. gone. Good. Don't, Don't neglect, neglect your studies. Your, your one work is improving by the day. day. But, but you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's, There's more to magic, magic than the spell casting. Plenty, Plenty to keep me occupied while you're, while you're gone. gone. You've, You've done, done exceptionally well. well. I, I look forward, forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. return. Oh, oh, and, and don't, don't neglect, neglect your friends. friends. You, you may, may be surprised, surprised by how much you can learn, learn from them, them as well. well. Meet, Meet me, me in, in Lower Hogsfield as soon as, as possible. Yeah. I, would I would like to talk to you about Druckwood and Harlow, and, and it, it might, might be best to do so outside of the castle. castle. Professor Fig and, and Weasley have asked, asked that I teach you an additional, additional defensive spell. spell. Please, Please complete, complete the assignments I have given you, and then, then proceed to see me in my classroom. classroom. Thank you. 
like to see my, my young, young friend, friend that I don't, don't write that. Write that. Punch his onion again. again. Good morning, Professor Garlic. Garlic. How, How wonderful it is to see you again, again in my dear. dear. Oh, oh, here. You need, need these for today's, today's class. class. Uh, um, uh, a little, little treat for your auntie. auntie. The proof of her protest is, is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the malevolent tuba known as the Mandrake Root. Akia! Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, let's protect our ears. Now, everyone, grip, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and, and give it a firm tug. Yes, yes, Professor. professor. Firstly, well, well done, done with your mandrake. They, they can be rather, rather difficult to, to get, get a grasp of. of. I'll, I'll say, nearly went deaf. Well, yes, 
Of course, course the cry of a mature mandragora can, can be fatal. fatal. So, so remember, remember to keep those ears protected. Now, now as, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting definitely. Let us find you some seeds. I already have, have some, Professor. Pick, pick my mum and hold me. You've visited the magic leaf. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare on such late notice. Plant seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to of this little arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? Italy's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out, introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your jewel is Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you are. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest.
I'm sorry. What do I need to do? Garlic said she wanted you to have a go at tending the cabbages. Give them some time to chomp and whatnot. Nothing to it, really. Just toss some of those Chinese chomping cabbages out. <laughs> You'll see fairly quickly why we call them that. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing balls. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. We shall end our lesson here. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. But those mandrakes are really relishing their new pot. Oh, 
cost me my damned hero. There you go. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. Chinese jumping cabbage. Have you ever seen a professor out? Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guiding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Blythorn an aura about Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a copy Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen. Anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Oh, 
I'll get you the fruit and feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fruit and feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Here's the proper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Aduris potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. sweet and that's odd what's happening wait it's not supposed to professor sharp must have learned a lot during it get it again I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiggenwald potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiggenwald potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed.